Good afternoon, Vanguard, and welcome to Nightlife. I'm Becky Rosin. And I'm Taylor Young, and we'll be your hosts for this first 2004 edition of Nightlife. Recently, our Vanguard clubs were involved in a national fundraiser, once again putting Vanguard on the map. Now here's WVHS reporter Jordan Johnson with the story. Thanks, Becky. Last month, Walmart and Coca-Cola sponsored a national fundraiser, and many of our Vanguard service clubs took part in the event. How did the fundraiser work? Well, it was a competition with uh, Walmart and Coke, and we were the Marion County School they picked to take pictures of all of our school activities. This was a nationwide event that Vanguard won along with the Walmart and Coke in, in Ocala. How long did the fundraiser last? It was a two-month project. I believe we took pictures in September and October. Service clubs such as Pink Ladies, Anchor, and the Key Club worked hard to raise money for their clubs. Freshmen, JV, and varsity cheerleaders also participated, as well as our Vanguard band. What kinds of pictures did you take? Well, I took pictures of a little bit of everything. I took everything that our Pink Ladies did from meetings to events to the Red Ribbon Week. I also took pictures of our homecoming week, all the kids, how they dressed up. I would see a meeting in the cafeteria, and I'd take a picture. And there were people that did, we did college meetings. The cheerleaders did, uh, when they cheered at a sports event, sporting event, every club, everything that Vanguard did, we took pictures of, including Merlin's Magic. In the end, what was our final reward for winning the nationwide fundraiser? We won $6,500, and it'll be split up between all the organizations that participated. And did you have fun? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. In raising the most money, our Vanguard Service Clubs made their presence felt in the community. WVHS would like to congratulate all the clubs that took part in this great accomplishment. Reporting for WVHS, I'm Jordan Johnson. Now back to Taylor and Becky. With the start of a new year, students are already making new plans and goals for 2004. Now let's go to Megan Gadarian for today's On the Spot. Every year, students make New Year's resolutions. We were on campus to find out what some of yours were. Be nicer to some of my friends, I guess. My New Year's resolution is to get a job. I don't have a New Year's resolution. To eat less junk food and probably be a lot nicer. Uh, to get suspended a lot less. To get a job. Now the hard part is keeping those resolutions. For WVHS, I'm Megan Gadarian. Seniors, your final year is coming to a close, so jump at the chance to enjoy a night full of memories. Grad night will be held on May 1st in the Magic Kingdom. Tickets will be on sale through February 6th in room 44 in the bottom of the round buddy. Tickets will cost $55 per person. You must be a senior, you cannot be in the debt list, and you must have a 2.0 GPA. The park will be open to students from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. Students will have full access to rides and will be entertained by some of today's hottest chart-topping artists. So seniors, go out and buy your tickets before it's too late. It is an honor that goes out to one outstanding teacher every year. After teaching here at Vanguard for two years, Mr. Hughes is our 2004 Rookie Teacher of the Year. Now let's go to WVHS reporter Amanda Costello with a one-on-one -on -one interview. How long have you been teaching? I taught one year when I lived in Louisiana after I graduated college. And uh, this is my second year at Vanguard, so three years altogether. What are the different subjects that you have taught over the years? Mostly I've taught band ensemble classes, so I've taught marching band and concert band and jazz band. I've also had the opportunity to teach some other classes like music appreciation and color guard and uh, percussion ensemble classes. And all of those have really been uh, great learning experiences for me. Why have you decided to teach music? I like to think of myself first as a teacher and second as a musician. I love to teach and uh, teaching music it gives me an opportunity to teach something that I take a lot of joy in. Um, I'm always excited to be here and excited to help the students here at Vanguard learn about something that I care about a lot. Who would you like to thank for this honor? Well of course I'd like to thank all the teachers here at Vanguard who voted for me and have um, noticed and taken part in a lot of the things that the band has been doing over the last couple years. Uh, I'd like to thank 
uh, Miss Stewart and Mr. Thanison very much for bringing me here to Vanguard. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Dwayne Hendon for being a real great mentor of mine here. And of course, I'd like to also thank all my students whom I love very much. Reporting for WVHS, this has been Amanda Costello. Congratulations again to Mr. Hughes, and good luck to the 2004 Marching Knights. The boys' basketball team already has two wins under their belts for 2004. Now here's Eric Aguirre with highlights from their game and last week's wrestling match. Good afternoon, Vanguard, and welcome to this edition of Sports Update. I'm Eric Aguirre for Sports Update. Tonight we're wrestling the Westport Wolfpack. On Wednesday night, the night wrestlers came out to battle it out against the Westport Wolfpack. They came out ready to wrestle the Wolfpack. Key players were Mike Liphart, Sean Lazarus, Mike Moon, Michael Dale, and Gunnar Grant. They fought as hard as they could, but didn't pull it off in a 42-40 loss. Well, we didn't win tonight, but we only lost by two points, and our team is really doing great, and they're really coming along. We'll get them next time. On Friday night, the night basketball players went head-to-head -head against the North Marion Colts. Jordan Carrier had 24 points, Jamal Naylor had 15 points, and Nate Heaven had two points. The Knights pulled it off in a 51-48 win. Way to go, Knights. For Sports Update, I'm Eric Aguirre. That's it for this edition of Nightlife. I'm Taylor Young. And I'm Becky Rosin. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here next week.